All right, so we are back out here. We're going to do a little night fishing today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Like the video, comment, share, all that good stuff. Ruben Tech Saltwater Fishing. And uh, you yeah, want to get some lines wet? I don't see any bait just yet getting popped on and blown up on. But the lights just started cooking. So it's a little after, what is it, like 7 o'clock? 620, 623. So still kind of early. So hopefully... As the evening goes and the lights start cooking a little more, the bait starts coming into the lights and then you start catching. You start hooking up to all the uh, all the fish, predator fish, speck of trout, reds, that's kind of what we're going for. I said that and then I just heard, look right there. You're right there, big bubble. Trout, oop, I see a big one. Nice trout. Oh, there's one right there. There they go, see, starting right on cue. I thought like maybe around seven o'clock and I got her a little early to set up, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a trap right there. Let's go, let's go. start off cast master style spoon and uh, see if we can get one the 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 um the dogs love the fish man they love the fish especially this guy right here he's crying already he's crying already he wants to he wants to see a fish Whew. that's the first time I've cast with this uh, with this line now I put 15 pound floor test line on here one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you are night fishing and fishing, whether the green lights or overhead lights, is that you want to take consideration of what the fish can see. So instead of fishing with my 20, 30 pound braid, I wanted to change it up a little bit. 15 pound Yozuri fluorocarbon leader line. I want to try to keep the line just a little bit more invisible don't want fish to see it after that just I see what they're feeding on they're feeding on little small little bait fish and uh, I think this spoon's a little big it's probably gonna fall a little fast but I'm gonna try to make it work slowly jigging the spoon letting it fall from different water columns trying to entice a speckled trout or maybe even a sand trout to bite uh, there's plenty of sand trout in this water and I keep feeling getting bumped I keep getting small hits and nips and I'm just letting it fall I'm fishing the upper water column, I'm fishing the lower water column, just tr really trying to find and figure out where they're at. Oh, there we go. There's a nice one on top right there. Somebody just tapped it right there. They just bump it a lot of times. There, there we go. That's what we are getting right here, sand trout. So we're seeing come up. Oh, that's a little speckler. Yeah, a little speckler, speckler. First fish, speckler. I need a little bigger one. But that's kind of the size that we're seeing. I have a, this is a bucktail from Salty Head. Let me get this guy out first. That's a small little Salty Head jig head with a, uh, not the, uh, so I'll tell you, go with the little small old school shrimp. Company don't even make them anymore. I found some, and there's their bucktail. So I'm gonna see this kind of set up for for trout right here. See if we can get a trout. You like that one? Sherlock says he likes that one. See why you his tail down there? He said that's a good one. There we go. There's one. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? Is that a trout? Yeah. Is that a sand trout? Can't have it though. He wants to eat them. You can't eat them though. He committed. Huh. I knew they would. Just a good little, good little rig, good little setup. Oh, 
There we go. Uh oh, that was a little bigger, huh? You want that one? He's very into it. He wants that fish. He's like, yeah. I want that fish. Can't have it, buddy. Can't have it. A little smaller profile rattle trap. And I'm gonna see if it works. I have 20 pound, real long leader line, 20 pound floral carmine leader line. I'm hoping that's gonna hold up to some of the bigger reds, but the water visibility has been good. Always excited. The water visibility has been pretty good at night. So uh, with that in mind, I wanna go to a smaller diameter leader line so it kinda hides a little bit more or hides a little better so let us see all right i just got a fish on him fighting with this stinky camera and now it's on now we got him nice red first of the night right here in front of this dock right here right here there he comes okay you just tell me how to net it just put it down and i'm gonna try to bring him uh, right to first. you mm -hmm. we'll go face first so I'm trying to bring it right in. Hopefully, we'll get it. I'm gonna hold his head up. There you go. Now pull it up. Pull it up. There you go. Yeah. No, no, get the no, assist. No. You can't have it, buddy. Mama. It'll be okay. <clears throat> okay. It's so show drum. me when it goes all the way down there. So I just grab the hook and oh. just push it down real hard. And Hold it down. I'm just gonna jerk it away from no. you. Jerk it away from it. Pull that barb out. There it goes. Okay. So I couldn't even see where the hook was. I didn't Yeah, know. when it's down like that, those are hard. Do you want a picture? That's a nice big one. That's a nice camera? big one. I don't have a camera. I got one in my pocket. He is gonna be... What? 27? Dude, that's a tournament fish. Oh, that's a tournament fish. So you gonna let him go? I'm gonna let him go. Yeah, we're gonna let him go. It's a tournament size fish, right at 27. So, kind of big to be keeping anyway. Release him. Ruben, is a good man. He yeah. Go. We're gonna let this one go. Come on. Swim. There he goes. I mean, you're stinky. Man, did I get hit. It feels like a very nice spec. I just put a new lure on I've never used it before. It's a Paul Brown Devil Twitch Bait. Kind of suspends a little bit. Twitch, twitch, let it fall. You know, specs, trout, love that fall. Man, the dog's excited, I'm excited. We are going crazy over here trying to net this fish at the same time. And the thing about this net is it kind of has a, kind of has a hole in it. Holy crap, right through the net. Pull the whole thing out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Got this guy on deck. Nice. 17 inch speckler. So it's kind of slow. It's a little slow. I'm still seeing the specks pop on top water surface. I'm seeing the, the speckle trout do the same thing. Put this voodoo shrimp on. I'm going straight line. This is a fluorocarbon, 15 pound fluorocarbon Yozuri line. Going straight line. I'm looking for that red. I want that big red. I want that big trophy red. I, I broke off just a few minutes ago. I know they're out here. They're, they're kind of hanging out in the dark just a little bit. So let's see if we can get them. So we can get them with this uh, with this voodoo shrimp. Casting the voodoo shrimp out, letting it fall on bottom, just kind of bouncing it a little bit, raising the water column, letting it fall back down. There it is. There it is. There it is. Big, big bite. Just a nice big hit. It is just pulling and pulling. Nice big red. Nice big red. Best red I felt all all evening. Just trying to keep my rod tip up, letting them run a little bit. Keep my eye on this this line, 15 pound floral carbon line. Oh my 
my gosh, this guy is just so strong. Let me get the net ready. Oh, oh, he ran at me, ran at me. Nope, he's trying to run to my, run to my left a little bit. He's running my left. He wants to he's trying to break me off in those docks, off to my left hand side in the in the dark there. I'm trying to muscle him. I'm trying to muscle him. Oh, just a little. I already had one break off on me. Really don't want to lose this one. This guy is strong. I can just feel it. He's just burning up my thumb. I'm trying to thumb the spool a little bit. Nice big, nice big fish. Oh, nice run. I'm trying to get some of that line back now. Raw tip up. Come on. Stay out of that dock. He wants so bad to go into that dock. I'm trying to keep him out of there. Pulling there he goes. Makes water surface and it is a nice big over slot red. I can tell. This guy's huge. Reach for the net. Oh, oh. Come on. This net has a hole in it. Yep, there it is right there. The dog's excited. I'm excited. Golly, this guy's so strong. I can fight him in here. I'm trying to keep the, keep the rod tip up, keep his nose out of the water so I can net him. Oh, dang it. Mm, get away from the dock. Head up in the net. There we go. His face is hanging out the net. His face is out of the net, but we got him on the dock. On deck. Beautiful fish. Voodoo shrimp. Man, it doesn't get any better than that. Look at that. Got him right underneath the chin. Beautiful 29 inch red. I'm gonna do a little release. Wiggle his tail a little bit. Let him, there he goes. Beautiful boy. I'm excited, the puppy's excited. Heck yeah. So that's gonna wrap it up. You know, I had a tremendous amount of fun out there. You know, it doesn't matter whether I'm wade fishing or bank fishing, fishing off docks or kayak fishing, fishing off someone's boat. You know, I just love chasing the fish, I love chasing the bite. I love trying to use different new techniques, fish with different lures. Paul Brown Devil Lure. That was the first time I really ever used one of those lures before, and I wasn't disappointed at all. I was able to land a very nice speckled trout on that, and I ended up bringing it home and doing a speck on a half shell. Tastes great. If you haven't seen the video yet, check out the video where I did a red on a half shell. In case you're interested and you never cooked on a half shell before basically what you do is you simply fillet the fish and you leave the shell and you leave the scales and you leave everything on you score it you season it you put it on the grill you put some butter on it and then mwah, taste wonderful tastes great at a great time uh, I caught some fish on some smaller specks and sand trout I caught them on uh, salty head jigged. Check out salty head jigged. Also, the bucktail also had a big red on it. Big red. I got off on that bucktail. I was fishing with tandem. Then I end up landing one on a rattle trap, a uh, red on a rattle trap, and also a red on voodoo shrimp. Check those guys out as well. Inger baits, voodoo shrimp. Fantastic, fantastic baits. Can't say enough great things about them. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In the link of my description section, it will lead you over to Patreon. I do fish reports, fishing insights, all that great stuff. Getting my stuff together because I'm going to go back out. I'm going out in the morning. I'm going to take my kayak out, so stay tuned for my next kayak trip. And then in a few days after that, I'm going to be jumping on my friend Charles's boat. And we're going to get out there. Probably take a little bit of live shrimp. So another video coming out. Kayak, then a boat. Then I'm going to probably sit down and do a couple of video blogs. I've been wanting to catch up on some vlogging. So some of you guys I know that have asked me 
to do a walkthrough of my kayak so i'll probably sit down and do a walkthrough of my kayak but stay tuned we got more texas all water fishing coming for you doesn't be a pop-up at the end of this video suggesting the next video for you to watch so check that one out you know in case you no, even if it's one that you've seen just watch it again just so much so much fun texas all water fishing all day 2023 baby thanks